We will first be visiting the world of Kaspar David Friedrich, a German landscape romantic painter, the most important artist of his generation. Friedrich was born in 1774 in the town of Griefswald at the Baltic Ocean. It is from here that he draws his inspiration for painting of the Friedrich was exposed to death from an early age. His mother died when Friedrich was seven. A year later, his sister died, while a second sister perished when he was 17. But Friedrich's greatest trauma was to come when he was 13, when he witnessed the drowning of his brother Johann Christopher, trapped underneath the ice of a frozen lake. For a while, it seemed as if Friedrich could escape his cycle of misery. By his mid-thirties, he had gained his artistic reputation as a romantic artist and moved to Dresden and married. Alas, the reputation of Friedrich declined alongside the romantic movement. He spent much of his later years of life in solitude, walking during many lonely nights in the wilderness. It is in this time, in 1830, that Friedrich paints a walk at dusk. The themes in this painting are death and loneliness. Death, which followed Friedrich since seven years of age, and loneliness, which permeated his life during his later years. One's eyes directed at an old man, had bowed before a stone tomb against an airy background lit by the cold moonlight. It carries with it a subtle, implicit message of death. The winter season brings the theme of dying, leafless trees devoid of life. Yet, in this gloomy atmosphere, there remains to be hope, symbolized by the waxing moon. This painting was made both in the context of Romanticism, but also in a very religious mind, when throughout Europe, people were shifting ideals towards spirituality. Friedrich seeks to express this through nature. The waxing moon symbolizes Christ, promising a chance for rebirth. This time we take a look at English Romanticism in the work of Joseph Mallard William Turner, also a landscape painter. Turner was born just one year after Friedrich in 1775 in London. He gained early art experience and at age 14 he was enrolled in the Royal Academy of Art and received excellent artistic training. At age 44, Turner took a trip to Italy which drastically altered his style, leading to his late emphasis on vivid color and light to create dramatic scenes. In Montreal, only about to please his masters, the power of nature and the courage of man is expressed in a stormy romantic scene. Turner uses loose, luminous brushstrokes to create the churning seas and heavy spray of waves crashing against the ship. The dark tones of brown near the bottom of the canvas reveal the true depth of the sea's violent power. Combined with the slanted white in the background, one can see two forces, the sky and the sea, just on the brink of clashing the ships in the middle. <laughs> 